Sparks Appenog circulator is either a lifesaver or a nuisance, depending on which driver you ask. Well, tonight we're digging deeper and revealing just how the project has impacted traffic in the area. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is in our control room now with more on what the DOT had to say. Kim? Well, Shannon, earlier this year I did a story about the number of crashes inside the Appenog circulator. And then I heard from many of you asking questions about how many cars are moving through that area of Warwick now and whether people seem to be avoiding the area. Well, I took those questions to the DOT and got some answers. The Rhode Island DOT says the $71 million Appenog circulator project is cutting down on congestion and accidents. And now we've learned it's also cut down on the number of cars traveling down Post Road by roughly 18,000 a day. That, that's actually, it, it's very close to what we had predicted. RIDOT's Administrator of Project Management, David Fish, says roughly 25,000 cars used to travel through the area before the Appenog Circulator Project began in 2014. And while close to that number still traverse the Veterans Memorial portion, RIDOT says the number of cars that take post road through the heart of the village has plummeted to under 7,000 a day. It really should make the area a lot more conducive to pedestrian traffic, as well as kind of get a of that psychological barrier of you know, 25,000 vehicles in that one little section. RIDOT hopes increased foot traffic and less congestion will mean more business, even with fewer cars driving by. How do you say that decreased traffic can increase economic activity? I think uh, one of the ways is that uh, it makes it more inviting for the people to come into this historic downtown area. Fish says drivers are not avoiding the area, they're just being dispersed in a new way. People are using it, it's just a lot easier to get through the area. And the DOT also says they're still moving forward with plans to install new signs in the area to help drivers more easily navigate those roundabouts. They say they plan to install those signs in the coming weeks. Live in the control room, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.